let's talk about COVID-19 vaccines. At the moment, there is two vaccines that have been given emergency use authorization by the Food and Drug Administration to be given. And these vaccines are made by the manufacturer Pfizer, BioNTech, and by the manufacturer Moderna. So how are these vaccines different and how do they work? These two vaccines use a technology called mRNA or messenger RNA. This technology, it, it is true, it is new, but it actually has been studied for the past 10 years. So how does it work? These vaccines do not contain the virus, do not contain a live virus or a dead virus. What these vaccines contain is a synthetic material that will tell our cells how to make protective cells, also called T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes, in the event that they get exposed to the virus that causes COVID-19. So in order for us to understand how these vaccines work better, we need to remind ourselves how is it that our body or immune system protects us against infections. So our body, when they're faced with germs, they have different tools that they use in order to help us fight the infection or kill that virus or bacteria or parasite. So when a, when a germ or a virus, in this case, for example, the COVID-19 virus goes inside our body, our body uh, produces different types of cells in order to help us kill this virus. One of the types of cells are called macrophages. The macrophages, what they do is that they try to swallow up the germ and try to kill it. But in this process, sometimes little pieces of germ are still floating around. This is where B lymphocytes, which is another type of cell that is produced, comes into play. These B lymphocytes produce something that is called antibodies, and these antibodies are gonna try and track these little pieces that were left out to kill them. Another type of tool that we have is called T lymphocytes or memory cells. These cells, what they will do is that they will try to kill those infected cells that have the virus in them. After we have been exposed um, to that specific virus or infection and all these tools come into play, our body will remember that this happened. And in the case that we get exposed to that same virus again, those B lymphocytes and those T lymphocytes will come into play to try to uh, kill that virus again. So this is how these vaccines work. These mRNA vaccines will tell our body to make a specific harmless protein that is part of the virus that causes COVID-19 called a spike protein. Once this uh, vaccine gives that message to our cells, our cells will produce B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. Our body will quickly uh, kill this genetic material this uh, message that the vaccine has given us and will create these B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. And these are the cells that are going to be acting upon the virus if at any point in time we get exposed by the virus that cover, causes COVID-19. Um, another common question that we tend uh, to get as uh, primary care providers is how safe are these vaccines? Well, these vaccines um, have actually participated in clinical trials with thousands of patients, uh, up roughly 34,000 patients. Before the Food and Drug Administration um, issues an emergency use authorization, uh, clinical safety data has been reviewed and has been studied, and it has been determined that the potential uh, benefits definitely outweigh the risks. Um, so what are some of the risks or some of the side effects that we could get or we could expect if we get one of these COVID-19 uh, vaccines? Well, um, the potential side effects that we could get include very common side effects that we could get with any other type of vaccine, which include uh, local side effects like pain, swelling, and redness at the site of the injection, and also other systemic symptoms that can still occur with other vaccines, like for example, fever, chills, headache. It is important to mention that these side effects tend to last only one to three days. Um, it is true that there has been described severe allergic reactions that can occur after the vaccine administration. This is why it's important that if you know that you suffer from severe allergic reactions to medications or food, that you talk to your doctor before receiving the vaccine. Because in this case, you may need to be monitored for 15 to 30 minutes after receiving the vaccine at the facility that you are going to get the vaccine at. Just in case you develop any aller allergic reaction, you can be treated promptly and right away. 
Uh, another common question is how effective are these vaccines? In the clinical trials that have been done, these vaccines are shown to be 95% effective. That means that out of 100 people that get the vaccine, 95% of them or 95 of them will be protected against getting the infection. Stay tuned for our next episode of COVID-19 vaccines and more.